video. This is a five ways, I think it's five, maybe more, you'll see in the title, ways to do stress basically for back to school because I know some people are excited about back to school and I'm super excited, but sometimes it can get a little stressful. Hey guys, so I just wanted to pause this video to tell you the winner of this video, and that is Suze, I think it is. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong, but go check out her channel. Her channel is amazing, and I definitely subscribe, so I suggest that you go check it out too and subscribe to her. If you want to win, look at my previous video on titled, Do You Want Subscribers? Well, when you all of a sudden have to wake up early, and you have to do all your homework, so I'm just going to figure out some, I figured out some ways to make you guys not stressed and honestly I do these every single summer mostly and it really helps me out so I suggest that you guys try them out. Um, I wanted to bring up the fact, the obvious fact, that I have cut my hair. So I cut my hair just a little shorter, it's not that short but it's way shorter than it was before. Before it was down to here and now it's up here. I like it much better and really it doesn't feel like anything's changed because I can still do everything else and the only thing is it's thicker and yeah that's about it. I still do my buns and I used to wear my hair up all the time anyways so yeah and I'm super glad that I got cut because it's less windy and all over the place. Anyways guys so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do please like, subscribe, and comment. I'd really appreciate it. Um, video suggestions are welcome as well and let's get on with the video. So my first tip is to wake up 30 minutes earlier each day leading up to the first day of school so that you don't have to go from waking up at 12 to waking up at 6 and just getting so tired on your first day of school. And this is really helpful, so I definitely suggest that you guys do this in the mornings leading up to your first day of school. My next tip is right when you wake up, Drink a glass of water because overnight your body gets dehydrated and it's so helpful to drink a glass of water. It'll definitely wake you up and if not completely, just a little bit and enough to get you out of bed. Instead of drinking coffee every single morning of the week, try drinking it twice a week instead of seven days a week because you can become dependent on coffee and then if you don't have it for one day, you can get major headaches and everything. So I would definitely suggest limiting the amount of coffee you take in and maybe instead drinking water or something that wakes you up but doesn't have caffeine in it. It was a crush. So my next tip is when you're drinking coffee or eating your breakfast or whatever you're doing, do not use your phone. Your phone is a silent killer of productivity and you will get lost in time on social media. And before you know it, you will be late to school. So do not use your phone in the morning. Okay, so tip number five is instead of waking up and going to get ready, just take the time to make your bed because then it'll prevent you from calling back in bed and trust me, it'll also make your room look neater and it's just a win-win situation. One of my favorite tips is to practice your routine, like your makeup routine and getting dressed, and time it with your phone so that you know how much time you'll need in the morning, and tack on a few extra minutes because you'll probably be more drowsy, but this helps a lot in planning your morning. And my last tip is a super easy tip, and I just suggest writing in your planner in the weeks leading up to school so it becomes second nature to open up your planner when you hear homework or something that you need to do. So here I just wanted to show you my desk organization to kind of give you some inspiration for your desk. So I suggest having a magazine holder to put all your flyaway papers and books in so you know where everything is at. And then I have this little log thing to put my knickknacks on so that they're organized and all in one place. And then I use this $1 bucket and I put my perfumes in it. And then I use this piggy bank as a paperweight and have some notebooks on your desk so that you can jot things down if they come to you. My next thing on my desk is my acrylic makeup holder, and I'm absolutely in love with this. It's so organizable, and I just put everything, all my makeup in it, and I just have everything in one place. And then my pencil holder, my planner, and my pens. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed, and I hope that gave you some tips and tricks to de-stress and to really get your mind back in the back-to-school mode. And I know no one wants to face it, but we kind of have to because no matter what we do, you're going to have to go back to school unless you run away, but I don't think you should do that. Don't advise. Do not advise that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and look in the description and on the screen for my social media. And yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!